Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Sunday, August 13th, and today I'd like to talk about our daily readings. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, happy Sunday, friends. Today is the 19th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And again, you recall Ordinary Time, it's all about discipleship. We see that green, the green that covers the altar, the green that the priests wear and the deacon wears. That's the external reminder to us of the growth that's supposed to be happening in our souls and our discipleship during this liturgical season. Ordinary time is an opportunity for us to dive deep, ask the hard questions. Am I giving enough to the Lord Jesus or can I give some more? Is he asking for more? So again, ordinary time is about discipleship. With that in mind, let's, let's look at the scripture readings this Sunday. Mother Church draws from the gospel and gives us that powerful account of Peter walking on water. Yes, did you know that? Peter walked on water. There's only two people recorded in the scriptures ever walking on water, the Lord Jesus and St. Peter. But but wait, it it doesn't have a happy ending. (laughs) Actually, it has a great ending. What happens? Peter's on the boat. There's a storm. He sees the Lord Jesus. Jesus walking on the water. Peter yells out to him, Lord, if it is you, let me come to you. And Jesus says, come. And St. Peter steps off the boat and begins to walk on water. The other apostles aren't doing this. They're not asking to walk on the Lord, to come to the Lord. They're not asking to walk on water. The Lord says, come. And St. Peter begins to walk on water. But then what happens? You see, when St. Peter was looking at the Lord Jesus, everything was going well. But when he started listening to the wind and he saw the waves, he starts looking at everything else. He starts getting nervous and worried and anxious. And what happens? He starts to sink. And of course, he calls out, Lord, help me, save me. And the Lord is quick to grab his hand. When we look at Jesus, dear friends, the winds and the waves, the turbulence, it's still going to be there, but we won't sink. We, we don't say that when we look at Jesus, all the waves are going to disappear and everything's going to be calm and life's going to be wonderful. <laughs> no, no. The Lord is very clear to us that if we want to follow him, we're going to be still in the midst of a fallen world. But what we can do is when we focus on the Lord Jesus, we receive the grace and the strength in order to walk through the turbulence, the winds, the waves. We know that we are walking with his strength, that we're not walking alone. Yes, dear friends, we can walk on water. We can walk above the struggles, the heartaches, the brokenness, the difficulties, the anxieties of this fallen world. As long as we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus Christ. When we start looking at everything else, oh, no, this, oh, no, that, oh, no, this, this. Sink, 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 sink. We don't have to sink. We can just stay focus on Jesus. And we will have everything we need in order to walk above, to be above the fallenness of this world. So today, dear friends, focus on the Lord Jesus. Look at the Lord Jesus who loves us and is calling us to himself. The Lord who has power over the winds, the waves, the turbulence of this fallen world. Stay focused on Jesus. Those are our thoughts for today, dear friends. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you to keep fighting a good fight. And remember, you can receive daily spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox when you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.